Deborah and I came out to check out on the bees and we were going to put on a, a hive top feeder. Actually we did put the hive top feeder on the top of, uh, of this hive we call Ruth. And when we went to the next door hive to do some other work, we noticed this big swarm of bees. And we, so we put everything back and we came over and looked at the front of this, uh, our hive roof here, and uh, we noticed all the bees were swoop flying around, and and there was this ball of bees on the front. And here we see the this ball, and what's going on is that apparently they're balling a queen. It's a very tight ball. Deborah, you want to go and go touch it and show? They're very tightly clustered around this, uh, there's the ball. Apparently, from what we've read and understand, uh, there may have been a, a, a foreign queen came and they reacted by clustering around it and heating it up to the point where it couldn't survive and that's what they're doing right now. At this point they've done it for uh, about an hour. And they're just uh, clustered around, are very agitated. Uh, they're all, um, a lot of them around the, the cluster are, are fanning their wings violently to try to, I guess, heat up their bodies. And uh, we noticed earlier especially there was a, a funny buzzing sound associated with this it's clustering. It's bigger too. Um, I'm going to go a little closer here. And we tried pulling them apart, but they really are very tightly um, together. Really tightly clustered around. They're not aggressive to us at all, but they really want to do damage to that queen. We'll have to wait and see what's inside it. We're not sure it's a queen. I mean, we, it could be a some sort of a other, maybe a hornet or a wasp. It's possible. So we don't know exactly. I'm going to reach down and, and touch it. So you can see the... Very interesting behavior. been an hour and a half now we've been watching this uh, uh, bawling of the queen. Uh, we've noticed that now that it seems to be settling down a little bit and they're falling down the front of our the hive base and they're kind of uh, dispersing a little bit and I wonder whether they might have succeeded in killing the queen. We're anxious to see what's inside it. We, they were holding on. They were uh, balled so tightly we couldn't really get them apart. And, and actually, we, we want to allow the bees to take care of themselves here. So we kind of let 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 this whole thing run run its course rather than interfering a lot. Um, Deborah's going to go and are you going to touch it. Yeah, yeah, it's still tight. Yeah, it's still tight. But it's quite a bit, it's a little bit smaller than it was before. So, uh... We'll continue to watch. Yeah. Continue to watch it and, um, like I said before, the this might have been, uh, uh, another queen that had gone out on a mating flight and maybe possibly had, uh, gotten mixed up and landed at the wrong hive. But we were just speculating at this point. We really don't know for sure. Don't even know for sure whether it's a queen in there. October 20th, 2010. It's October 20th, 2010.
this is a, a queen getting bald, at least apparently. And uh, it looks like the, the ball might fall onto the ground here pretty soon. I'm hoping to catch it. Hey, where'd it go? There it went. Now it's on the ground. What was that, Dad? We've had wasps too. Yeah, we have had some trouble with uh, yellow jackets, but I don't know. I don't see any around now, and I'm not sure they would do this to a yellow jacket. So right now we got the ball in the front, of the hive. And meanwhile, back at the farm, the rest of the bees are carrying on their business, bringing back pollen and a cluster of bees at the, on, on the base here, where they came from. This is a, a queen getting bald, at least apparently, and uh, it looks like the, the ball might fall onto the ground here pretty soon. I'm hoping to catch it. Hey, where'd it go? There it went. Now it's on the ground. What was that, Dad? We've had wasps too. Yeah, we have had some trouble with uh, yellow jackets, but I don't know. I don't see any around now, and I'm not sure they would do this to a yellow jacket. So right now we got the ball in the front of the hive. And meanwhile, back at the farm, the rest of the bees are carrying on their business, bringing back pollen and A cluster of bees at the, on, on the base here, where they came from. Uh, we've been watching the these bees here bawling a queen for it's almost been two hours now, and uh, the ball seems to be loosening up a bit, and it's gotten a little smaller. So we're going to keep monitoring it and see what happens. Um, you can see it around here. There's a Undertaker bees doing their doing their duty. The one on top is hauling the other one away. I'm not sure it's dead yet. But uh, if you look around here, there's other, other dead bees. And then uh, we've got the other bees that have been rather excited about all the goings on. And they're gradually um, seeming to be going back into the hive, but they've been hanging around for quite a while.
broke it up a bit, didn't you, Deb? Yep. They don't seem to be, seem to be as compe compelled to hang on to that cluster like they did before. So they're kind of clustering back up again, aren't they? Yep. The wasps are coming. What are they doing? I'm just hovering right now over the dead bees. This is quite the cornucopia of uh, available food for these for these uh, yellow jackets. Meanwhile, this queen, if there's one in there, is having a very bad day. Taking a picture of this uh, queen that's getting bald. It's been uh, over two hours now, and uh, it seems to be breaking up a little bit. In fact, I was trying to see if I could uh, see what was inside it. I seem to be able to... I'm not sure if I can see what's in there. I think, oh, you can see. It looks like there's a big... It looks like there's a queen there. Yeah, right, right in there. You see the end of its the abdomen? Right there. Can't, it's not focusing very well. She's crawling around there. That's it right there. I think that's her. Right there. She's still alive. There she goes. There she goes. I don't know why they're not doing anything about her. It seems to be her. We've been watching a, a, a queen get bald, and the ball kind of broke up, mm -hmm. and the queen walked away. And while mm -hmm. the video was off, I, I picked the queen up and put her in front of the hive and walked right in. But then they attacked her again, and they make a little, there's a little ball going on here, and I think she's the one inside there. They dragged her out of the, uh, they dragged her out of the hive. And this little ball has reformed around her. She's the one with the long, long abdomen there. It's not very tight. They're dragging her off. That's her, the queen and another bee. Right there. Gotta try to focus here. I believe that's the queen. Doing something to her. Now I've got to be on my camera. Yeah, they're direct. 